So here we have a uh, new Brother Hobby motors, the Returner R5 2306, 2450 and 2650 kV. These are brand new, just recently released by Brother Hobby. I was quite surprised to receive them. Uh, uh, I didn't know they were already being uh, released and shipped to, to testers, but I was quite uh, pleased to get them. Uh, thanks Brother Hobby for sending these uh, for testing, really appreciate it. Uh, these motors, uh, I, b I believe this is one of their first uh, entries into the naked bottom class as far as uh, the Brother Brother Hobby brand goes I know they've been uh, private private labeling motors uh, of that type to uh, Pyroflip RC I believe also this is one of the first uh, entries into for Brother Hobby into the 2306 class uh, they might have had a prototype before in that particular size but I'm not quite sure but anyways these are the first ones that are are gonna be uh, mass uh, produced so it's uh, uh, they as usual they come in these uh, non-descriptive boxes which is not bad I mean uh, why waste money on uh, packaging uh, these these are perfect I think uh, anyways we usually we end up throwing those away so it just comes with the motor and the little baggie with uh, four mounting screws and a, a nylock so this one is the 2450 and the 2650 they're actually the same uh, they look the same so the only thing that distinguishes them is the uh, uh, the label here on the bell uh, so it'll just say 2450 and 2650 other than that they're they're pretty much uh, identical so so these uh, I believe they call this Deadpool I imagine is because of the color scheme which is pretty good I kinda like it it's not too uh, flamboyant so that's that's good so as I was saying uh, uh, they have this uh, naked bottom which is uh, the latest trend uh, in motors the manufacturers are using this to save weight I guess they realize that uh, uh, people are uh, always wanting light motors and powerful so as the as the keep increasing uh, in size the weight increases so I guess they they found the need to cut down weight by removing material on the base so that that's fine I mean I uh, uh, most people say they don't mind having this uh, like this they don't uh, so far they they work okay they have and you know they don't get any more damage um, when you hit things so I guess it, it's it has to be like a, a really bad luck if you end up uh, hitting it just at the right spot like they're usually the arm uh, covers that area unless you have one of those uh, quads with really skinny arms that don't offer any protection so but uh, you know when you go that light uh, a lot of things are are you know uh, prone to getting damaged because there's not much uh, material covering anything uh, so these are pretty much packed with the latest features one of the coolest ones is the uh, titanium shaft uh, it's uh, hollow all the way through and it's of course a uh, M5 here at the prop and a uh, 4mm shaft uh, through the motor and they're using a retaining screw which is uh, pretty uh, pretty sturdy pretty heavy duty so that that's gonna be easy to remove it's not one of those that are that are easily uh, cam or uh, you know you mess them up uh, because of of the force that you put in it but anyways uh, it's good to have a really good uh, Allen key I, I like these ones I always kind of show them bonhoos these are pretty cheap you can get them on Amazon for like six bucks I think and and they they fit just right uh, there's are other better ones but these these are okay and they're cheap uh, uh, so uh, the other features is uh, these are aluminum uh, pretty much all throughout aluminum 7075 uh, one of the stronger aluminums the magnets are N52 high temperature and they are curved so they're arc ma magnets the laminations on the stator they're 0.15 millimeter uh, so those are pretty thin 
Uh, the bearings are ESO 8 by 4 by 3 uh, a little bit of an odd size but uh, that's what they're using and it's supposed to weigh the 28.3 grams without wires as uh, they spec on the website alright so let's see what it weighs uh, it's supposed to be 28.3 grams they say and that's without wires uh, so they say so these are 160 millimeter worth of wire. Let's weigh it with uh, that much wire. So 30.9, 30.9, So if you remove uh, about 330 millimeters worth of wire so that would that would leave this motor with 50 millimeters of uh, wire leads that removes about 2.6 grams so 2.6 30.9 minus 2.6 is 28.3 so 28.3 right on the dot so 28.3 grams with 50 millimeters worth of wire so that's that's pretty that's pretty light uh, pretty amazing they they managed to to get this down to 28.3 grams pretty good weight all right now let's have a look uh, on the man under the magnifying glass uh, so removing the screw it's uh, actually not too bad uh, they do use a uh, thread lock but if you have a really good uh, allen key it's it's not that bad removing it Uh, so there it is. It's a pretty pretty long screw, and it's it's a heavy duty. It's one of the strong type. So once you remove them, just pull the bell apart. Pretty strong magnets. And uh, by the way, uh, when you when you put back the uh, the retaining screw, uh, make sure you put some thread lock. I like using this uh, purple thread lock it's the less uh, the less stronger one so but it'll keep the screws from uh, from coming loose so here's the the magnets uh, pretty pretty uh, normal looking uh, not that thick so I imagine this motor will be uh, pretty smooth uh, running and uh, uh, there you can see the the one piece shaft and uh, looks like there is plenty of glue on the magnets and it's uh, solid it's not uh, gluey so it's not gooey and here's the stator and the bearing the bearing is uh, eight millimeters by four by three so a little bit of an odd size and the height of the stator is uh, six millimeters so no surprises there and as you can see the laminations are very very thin 0.15 they're saying Alright, so that's uh, the overview of the motor, so now let's uh, get on with the thrust test. Let's see what uh, this uh, motor can do.
right, so here are the results of the static thrust test for the Brother Hobby R5 2306 2650 kV Deadpool is right about what's specified uh, at 2670, so pretty much on the dot. So I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S, uh, the usual props. Uh, 3S, just a couple of props so we can see what to expect out of this motor on 3S. Uh, on the 5 inch props, uh, it's pretty much clearing 1500 uh, grams at uh, pretty decent uh, amps. Uh, pretty manageable, I think, these uh, these amps, uh, con uh, considering what the other motors are pulling. Uh, so the thrust is, I believe it's a little bit less than other motors of similar size. Not a lot less, but just a little bit. But of course, it's also pulling lower amps, so that's good. The motor, it's uh, fairly efficient, actually. And combined with this lightness, that makes it a pretty good uh, option for you guys uh, that want uh, these high KV motors. So as the prop uh, diameter and pitch or pitch increases, uh, the thrust uh, increases gradually. And amps uh, don't shoot up, so just that's good. Uh, they do increase a little bit, but uh, still quite manageable compared to other motors. Uh, it's still pretty good. Uh, keep uh, keep in mind these these are not true amps. Uh, th you're not gonna see these amps in the air. It's gonna be a lot less, you know, in the order of about uh, up to 35% lower. So so it, it's pretty manageable, you know. Th this is just static. Uh, right here, the amps are exaggerated. So I, I always repeat that. On I know it's getting old, but uh, some some people might be new viewers. So I. I I feel that I, I should mention it every time. So so these are these do look kind of scary, but uh, it, it's not true amps that you're gonna see in the air. You know, Th these are static. Uh, I'm using a power supply, so so the power supply is able to feed all these amps to the motor on static. Uh, the props and the motor load uh, way more than when you're moving through the air. So so that's why we see these these big amps. Uh, six inch prop uh, getting almost to two, two kilograms, but the uh, amps are also getting high. I also went ahead and tested these HQC type props. Uh, just somebody wanted to find out how these do in uh, in the high KV motors, so I just threw them in there. Just so you guys have an idea what these how these do. So all right, that's the uh, test results. Uh, hope you find this data useful. And until the next one, uh, I'll also be testing the lower KV of this motor, the 2450. Uh, that'll be done in a few days, so uh, keep an eye out for that one. Uh, thanks for watching.